Today's Ask Reddit post, what's the worst thing to say to a girl before going down on her? Oh boy, this is gonna be a good one. Let's get started. One way ticket to Flavor Town you whisper as your flamed shirt flaps behind you. What are you talking about I'd marry him on the spot? Just because you want to marry Guy Fieri or because you think he's got good oral game? Get down there. Hesitate. Come back up. Open your mouth to say something but then retract the first sound that comes out of your mouth. Then go back down. Sounds like a character played by Michael Serra. You really do look a lot like your mother. Our mother. What are you doing step bro? Sweet home Alabama. Roll tide. Steve Owen voice. Or oh, crikey. Look at the size of this one. Now. What I'm gonna do. Is carefully sneak up on him. And jam my thumb in his butthole. AWW he's really pissed off now. She's a grumpy girl. Looks leak we got us some Vagemite on these one. Bravo 6 going dark. Fuck me like we ducked Bin Laden. This girl requested intercourse to bring her to climax with a clinical efficiency of the assassination of Bin Laden. Go to terrorize that pussy. So I did it. Says Grace. Amen. You have to drag out the amen like they do in the hymns. Bonus points if you both do it in unison. You have to continuously hold the amen the entire time. In a hairstylist voice. Which way do you usually part this? This made me belly laugh out loud omfg. I did one of those legitimate he laughs. He he. Before we start I would like to thank our sponsor. Raid. Shadow Legends. Practicing safe sex is very important. Almost as important as practicing safe web browsing. Which is why this video is sponsored by NordVPN. MMMMM yum yum. In Mr. Bean's voice. All of these comments are awful but this one gave me such a horrible visual. Good one. Just like the simulations. Watch those wrist rockets. We're losing the command post. We've gained a command post. Roger Roger. Alright guys. Don't forget to leave a like. Hit that subscribe and ring the notification bell button. Now let's dive in. Edit. Oh my god this totally blew up thanks for the awards eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
sigh. The things we do for love. God theme plays as kid falls out window. You have a tiny clit. Ah grow your clit. I don't know what I was expecting. But it does what it says on the box. I don't want to. It doesn't smell right. The sad part is I've actually said this. This is what actually turned me off from ever going down on a girl. It's hard to when you have had 4 scarring incidents in your life. Majority of it happening when I was 17 18. Different girls. 1. Smelled awful. I threw up in the back of my mouth and she called me a pussy for not wanting to. 2. She had some cheese pieces over her lips and the smell was awful. Problem that killed me was that she was a hottie. 18 and all. But to be that bad. I was egg bomb because everyone thought I was lucky to have dated her. 3. A little diarrhea on the chin doesn't hurt am I right guys? 4. Pissed in my face for her humor. Had to drive home pissed on pissed off. Not have had a good experience at all. Oh dear lord that's so ducking horrible. Jesus. What do you feed this thing? Blondes. Mostly. My boyfriend said finally I'm ducking parched and it took me like 10 minutes to stop laughing enough to consent. This is my favorite response out of the whole duckin thread. I'm glad my comical sex life could entertain you. Just so you know once while I was having sex with my ex I leaned up and whispered there's two men in me right now. You and Jesus he leaned back and told me that he would break up with me if I ever said it again. So basically this is just how my life is. Jesus comes first. There used to be a church in rural Missouri that had a big sign out front with a purported quote from Jesus saying, Behold, I come quickly. Never took a picture of it and it's not there in Google Street View. Looks like someone didn't wipe well enough. You're supposed to wipe front to back. Don't worry. I took my bee pollen and meditated on my healing crystal today. So you won't get my herpes. They're orps anyways now. Mom, can you scoot down and put your feet in the stirrups? Okay, this is the first legit worst thing I've seen all the comments. If I blow air up your vagina, do you think you'll fart? Edit, a lot of people are taking this comment far too seriously. I can't believe I'm having to say this, but this was quite clearly a joke. No, I'm not giving you the all clear to blow air up your sexual partner's vagina to see if she will fart. Also, unless you're a medical professional, for the love of God, stop making assumptions with lack of sources and research. Can we all just laugh and move on now? This is actually really dangerous and can cause ruptures in the vagina. Are confident line correct? Unless you are hooking up an air compressor at high pressure, this is a myth considering more air gets pumped in there by repeated penis thrusts and all. On the next episode of Mythbusters, Rip Grant. It's just as big as my sister's, but doesn't taste as good as my mum's. What's this blue string for? To floss when you're done eating. Blood pudding's a British dish, but tonight it's served down under. Well done. No. Rare. It had a Kimasu. Said this to my ex. She'd studied Japanese at university and she nearly crushed my skull when she clenched her thighs from laughing. Ha ha ha. Yes. I like this. My ex once was about to do it. His phone vibrated so he checked it. Oh I just got a Tinder match. And then left me hanging to do some swiping instead. What the duck. The gentleman lady asked a question. Please somebody answer it. What the duck. No that was a statement what the duck. Like as in what the duck who checks their phone while having sex or what the duck you're gonna leave the lady hanging like that or what the duck is wrong with you. OP is the guy's girlfriend and he's browsing tinder. Not what the duck? The question. Also I'm a gentleman. Well I'm glad other people find it so odd too. I was never able to convince him that it's not something I should be okay with. Good luck to his next girlfriend is all I can think. Ever thought about sprinkling some sand down here so your crabs can feel at home? How dare you say that to a classy lady like me. The lobster. You remind me my green ma. Green and ma. Be more.
Oh em nom 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 emmy love cookie. I've actually said this before. She thought it was hilarious. Those spots on my mouth is herpes. Don't worry you won't get it since it's not on my genitals. The wilderness must be explored. Cor cor. I found the snipe. I'm going to call it Kevin. Hope you enjoy my teeth technique. Edit. Spelling. I immediately crossed my legs. Take your upvote and get out. Oh man. It's been forever since I've been to Arby's. Is it okay if my friend can join? Pulls out ventriloquist puppet. My boyfriend who had never even been kissed before said this is going to take some getting used to and hasn't tried again in the 5 months since. Edit. Had never even been kissed before Emmy. We didn't jump straight to sex without kissing lol. Don't think it's because of you. It's new and scary to him. Have him help you take a shower beforehand and tell him implicitly what it does for you before and while he's doing it. Also reciprocate if he lets you. Do your best to make him comfortable and don't ever shame him if he's trying. It could be because of her though and could be an easy fix. I loved going down on my first girlfriend. She always went a little overboard to make sure she was clean beforehand. Second girlfriend smelled like a fish sauce factory every time. Going down was unbearable. I was 17 and I didn't know that every vagina is different. My exes looked a little different than the first one I saw. When she took off her pants, I said to her, what the duck is that? It was that moment I realized she was super self-conscious about her labia minora. She freaked out, covered herself up and asked what was wrong. I said to her, haha just kidding. You know how I always joke around. Nothing's wrong. She sighed with relief and I went about my business. Don't be an idiot like me. You probably scarred her for life. I'm the scatman. While maintaining eye contact. Skeebi da be debu da dub dub. Remember. Tell anyone and your parents die. This comment right here. Officer. Great job. Now your parents are dead. Just had to tell that officer. Didn't you? Bro, you actually watched the whole video, I'd give you a high five if I was a human. Make sure to click the like button and subscribe for more great content. See you next time.